Thank you, everybody. Uh, so, very special day Saturday. On the same night as I am promoted to second degree, Carlos Machado, Black Belt. I'm going to buy John Jackson. So, having said that, it, uh, Saturday was not about me, it was about Izzy. And congratulations, brother. So, hey! here starting with Egan and then Master Carlos and uh, John and uh, so forth to teach out of the Gracie Garage and then when they went to open up the Gracie Academy after 93 and Hoist's uh, domination of the Machado's went their separate way. Master Carlos moved here in 1995, went to Norris and that's why there is a very thriving Jiu Jitsu community here. So the green bar is what Master Carlos decided he wanted to go with to distinguish his black belt from just Bring a little black belt. A lot of black belt coming. Okay, but Master Carlos has earned the right in order to make whatever modifications he wants. Voice, where you see, has a blue bar. Okay, as a tribute to his father, who never wore his red belt, who wore a blue belt. Because he wanted to be able to have a more kind of a connection with his students. And he didn't want to be all like, oh, it's a red belt. And people are being talking and like, you know. So he did that as a sign of kind of a bringing himself down to a level of reality from the level of the jiu-jitsu gods. In 19, uh, 2019, I told Master Carlos, I said, we have to be able to distinguish regular black belts from professors because, as you see, you wake up a brown belt with four stripes on a Wednesday, there's a promotion at six o'clock to black belt at your academy, not this one, and all of a sudden, you're a black belt at 601, and then a professor at 602, without ever teaching in class, without doing anything. So it had to be earned. So I told Mesh Carlos, I said, why don't we wrap a white tape around for the first year, have the black belt teach at least two classes a, a week, so that by the time they get to the end of the first year, that's 104 classes, considering it's 52 weeks, take the red uh, the white tape off, reveal the red sash, and then another year of 52, uh, 52 weeks of classes, two times a week, then you're in your professor's trip. They did almost exactly that, Master Carlos decided you want to go there. And that's it. So in one year, Professor Uzi will teach, and then at the end of the first year, he'll have his professor stripes, and then at the end of the second year, he'll teach, meaning the whole year, and he'll have 208 classes. <coughs> By the time I earned my first degree, or because I never put Professor Sharks on. I kept, I don't know, I think I probably put it in the closet or something like that. So, but that red sash will appear, Professor Stripes, and then at the uh, third year, he will receive a first degree because the first three stripes on a black belt are every three years. What is a black belt? A black belt just means that you achieve ultra proficiency in the art of jiu-jitsu, and it's basically truly a reset. It is literally where you really start to actually do jiu-jitsu because you're proficient. That's what really it means. Blue belt is just almost like a strike. When you reach black belt, and this is how I felt, I thought I was climbing this extremely steep mountain. It felt steep, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of effort, energy, injuries, all kinds of stuff. And then I was promoted to black belt by Hernan Garfinchado, which was surreal. There was no announcement, nothing, just, just emotion. 
And then uh, I realized, oh my God, what I do now? I mean, I look back and that huge, steep, vertical climb I thought I was making was more so like a hill. Because once I got to that black belt point, I looked in the distance and there's like a plane and then there's a gigantic mountain range that you can't see from the level of white, blue, purple, brown. You can only see it in black. It's just the angle of that elevation. You can't see it. But when you get the black belt, you'll see it in the distance. And that plane that you travel will be one that you realize, wow, I really got to do something with that black belt. Jiu-Jitsu is one of the most amazing ways to give unselfishly and without expecting anything in return. As we do with each one of you, we invest ourselves into you. That's why it means so much to us, your loyalty and your trust in us. That is why sometimes when certain students decide to leave, it turns into uh, a big disappointment. It turns into a big disappointment because they don't quite care and value how much energy and effort we put into each and every one of you. Without expecting anything in return, but for you all to develop, thrive, blossom, grow, and just be the best versions of yourself. So, having said that, I congratulate our second black belt, Professor Izzy. <laughs> And I give you the floor, Professor Izzy. Please say a few words of motivation, something that will inspire our students. Um, you know, guys, it, this journey is long. Um, you know, sometimes there are points you don't want to come in. There are days you want to stay at home. You know, you feel like you had a bad day or whatever, but those are the days that make you better. The days that you come in and you suck are the days that can make you better every other day. Come in, put the work in. And I guarantee you, like I said at the at the ceremony, I promise you, if you guys put in the work, you will be where we're standing one day. Um, it's not easy. We understand life throws everything at us. Um, you know, we get sidelined by personal things, injuries, whatever, what have you. But you just gotta stick with it. Keep coming. Uh, put your trust in your professors. You know, we're here for you. Um, essentially, uh, I don't think there's a time where I ever turn my back on anybody. I want you to grow just as much as I did. Um, that's what my professors did to me. That's what Professor Gray and Professor Phillips did for me as well. Once I got here, they opened up the academy. They allowed me to come in, allowed me to thrive, to get to the point where I'm at today. Um, and I'm very grateful and humbled for this experience. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things like you feel like it's never gonna come. Like you, you know, it's one thing after another after another, um, but I stuck with it. I went through the gauntlet and I got here. Um, you went through the gauntlet. Yeah, let me tell you. Then he passed because he was ready. And you guys see the last probably five months. I've been here two, three times a day. You know, not just getting better at this craft, but preparing myself for the test that I had to go through. Um, you know, and I guarantee you when it comes to that time, if you get the professors that I got that, you know, tested me, it was a test. It wasn't a walk in the park. I mean, they came after me to take my head off. Like, cause you have to prove that you're worthy to wear one of these, right? Um, so I, you've all seen the video that Professor Gray put on WhatsApp uh, of him tapping out the black belt about 13 times, I think. Um, <laughs> right. Point I'm trying to make is to that, right? Even at black belt, levels you still have to test out. Professor Greg had to test, you know, we all have to go through it. But, you know, I didn't go out there and just lay an egg. I made sure that they knew who I was and I wasn't taking any BS from anybody. And I was running through, not running through them, but I didn't make it easy on them either. Um, you know, so I had, luckily, uh, Master Carlos um, and Philip was there. I was rolling with Brad Scott, those of you know him. Uh, we were rolling, and of course, you know, he was ragdolling me, but I heard a, a voice in a Brazilian accent say something, and I kind of looked up, and I see his master Carlos. So I did everything I could. I did a knee cut pass with side control, and I did, I, I ended up in a good position. Very shortly, I ended up in a bad position because of the track. But nonetheless, after we got done rolling, um, you know, master Carlos came up to me and was like, you, you're hanging with the lions. You're doing great. I saw your testing. He's like, you don't need to do any more. You're a black belt in my eyes. You know, and to hear a compliment from a pioneer of the sport, I mean, that really meant a lot to me. And, 
you know, I think I was probably the only brown belt who didn't have to complete all five. Yeah, I remember any other brown belts that uh, didn't have to do all five. Yeah. Probably the first. So after that, I landed before, which I was grateful for because I was, yeah, I was hurt after. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minute rounds, and this is like full blown, like stand up every time and go. Like 40 like, minutes of rolling um, with, you know, second, third degree black belts that have been doing this longer than I've probably been trained, you know what I mean? So I felt good about myself, but it's just one of those things you gotta do it. You gotta get through it, you gotta push yourself, you gotta wanna do it. Um, and I know all of you that are here, if just stick with it, and I promise you, you will get here one day. If you want it bad enough, you will find one way or another, um, you'll get past the excuses to find yourself on the mats, and that's the only way you're gonna get better. So just keep showing up, keep training, ask us, Pull it to the side. There's none of us here that won't give you a time of day and pass on the knowledge because it would be selfish of us to do that. Um, because there are professors, unfortunately, that are out there at academies who do that. They think they're, you know, the best thing on earth, and they think their jujitsu is the best. And unfortunately, those are the type of professors that I never want, and I never want to be associated with. Because if you can't pass along what you've learned and keep it to yourself, it's got to be the most selfish thing you can ever do especially to your teammates and to your, your students and any academy. So um, if you guys ever see me, if you have questions, I will be more than happy to show you um, anything that I know to help you on your journey. Um, so yeah, and at the end of it all, just stick with it, keep coming, and I promise you, you see will be in our spot someday. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we all learn, you know, everybody learned something and uh, it, was a, it was a good time, great vibe this time. And I highly encourage you guys to take some time to go next time to register early. It's only 75 bucks, but it's like a four, three, four day thing, you know what I mean? It's worth it, right, dude? I don't know what I mean. I know, and uh, yeah, Justin Wang, and you know, and I don't know, who else? Who else went? TJ Wang, TJ Wang. Yeah, TJ Wang, you know, so make some time to go. You, you'll, you'll see that, that what we're doing here is part of a bigger, bigger picture, you know what I mean? We're being, a true legend, Master Carlos is a good close friend of mine, he's a mentor, he's a brother, he is an amazing, amazing human being. I couldn't be more proud to represent his name, not only on the mats, but more so off the mats. It's far more important how you are as a person, your character, and how you carry yourself off these mats, because you represent all of us, me, and what's the point of all of him. So if you're good at jujitsu, but not get out there, nobody really cares. If you're good out there, I mean, you'll be convinced, you know what? That's the environment of the platform. So, and remember, you guys are all mentors over there. So just get ready, keep getting ready. We're pushing you all forward down that line. And you all on that side eventually will get to that side. Just keep coming, because the black belt is a white belt that never quit. Right. Right. Exactly. Don't quit. I'm like my introduction. So, having said that, Chris Philip is going to take the more fundamental students, show something that Master Carlos taught. And I'll take the less fundamental students and show something that Master Carlos is sort of black belt, Travis Luter top. So, having said that, up the mountain. Up the mountain. All right, let's go ahead and take your crew. Take them on that mat. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, my little ninja. Awesome.